Hello guys, uh, my name is Brandon Cope. I'm going to be going over some long snapping and shotgun snapping and maybe even some under center snapping techniques today and also some drills and things that you can do to get better. Uh, so first off, I'm going to start off with the shotgun grip technique. It's pretty much just basically uh, a football throwing grip like the quarterbacks use. Um, so pretty much all you do for drills is you just throw it to someone and then try to get it like a perfect spiral. So yeah, that's about it. Um, and if you want to do some other drills, like leg strengthening drills, you can um, you can like just stand here, just do this for a while, and then when you're ready to snap for a lot, you can uh, you can just so that way you can just be looking at the defense and not be hunched over so much. So that's one of the drills that I use. Um, here, what I'll do now is I'll just do some examples snaps and stuff so it's, yeah that's about it so okay uh here's example one through five i guess so ready set that's one two ready set three Ready, uh -huh. four. Ready, uh -huh. five. Okay, uh, now I'm going to go over some long snapping grips and techniques that you can use to get more spiral and velocity on the ball. First off, the grip, you just want to start off with standard, just a standard throwing and thrower's grip. Then what you want to do is like make the Spock thing from Star Trek, then put your middle finger on the on the inside of the, of the right side of the seam. So kind of like that. Then when you throw it, when, when you snap it, it should, it should spiral around like that kind of. So that's about it. Um, hey, uh, these are some couple of drills that I do uh, during practices to warm up when we do special team practices. Uh, the first is just you have your standard grip and then you go overhead like this and you step release. So, what I do, what I usually do is I do about 15 to 20 of those. So, and then I keep doing that until I get pretty comfortable and I get my arms loose and I get uh, pretty comfortable with like spinning the ball kind of. So, pause. Okay, here's also another drill that I do. Um, most people, my coaches tell me to do it left-handed and right-handed, but I can't do it left-handed. So um, what you do is you just hold it like the throwers grip, and then you take like one step, just wind it around, try to get a spiral on it. So that way you'll be able to, I guess, kind of get get used to snapping your wrist, kind of. So. Okay, uh, here I'm going to go over a few examples of long snapping. Uh, they may, may be good, may be bad. Hopefully they're all good. Uh, and if I'm, if they're bad, I'll tell you what, what, what you can do to correct them, or what you can do to make them faster, make them spiral more. So, Okay, uh, so one, uh, one most important thing about long snapping is, is your grip and also your stance position. You want to have a wider stance rather than a narrow one. Because if you have a wider one, you have more power out of your legs. So, and if you have a smaller one, you don't have that much power. So what we want to do is have a medium to large size base, considering how long your legs are. Mine are pretty short, so yeah. And then you want to have your grip, like like we talked about earlier. And then here's example number one. Go. And that is how you long snap a football. I'll be posting more videos sometime in the near, in the near future.